Welcome to I Saw It in the Catalog, a video presentation of antique phonograph items found in period catalogs. Today, we'll review horns. The Columbia Phonograph Company started around 1890, run by Edward Easton. In an 1899 Columbia catalog is a selection of nickeled horns. The 13-inch brass horn, nickeled, was supplied for Columbia table model coin-operated phonographs. Two versions were available. The version, shown at the bottom, has the elbow soldered directly into the horn. The version, shown at the top, used an internal sleeve that allowed the elbow to be removed. The Standard Metal Manufacturing Company was a sheet metal manufacturer based in New Jersey. Producing horns for automobiles, the Standard Metal Manufacturing Company also became one of the dominant phonograph horn manufacturers. From a 1906 catalog is advertised a polished bell horn with enameled body, with hand-painted flowers costing an additional 35 cents. Ellsworth Hawthorne and Horace Shebel form the Hawthorne and Shebel Manufacturing Company. In a Hawthorne and Shebel catalog produced around 1900 is an offering of silveroid horns with spun bells. Shown is the number 79 silveroid 24-inch brass horn with a 9.5 inch bell. Silveroid commonly referred to any metal compound made to resemble silver. Our next item comes again from the 1899 Columbia Graphophone Catalog. In the same selection of nickeled horns as a 13-inch brass horn nickeled is a 10-inch brass horn nickeled. Shown is the first variation of this horn, all brass with a raised seam between the bell and body and an integrally molded end. The second version has a steel body with a brass bell horn and a sleeve end. The third version is similar to the second version but with an angled sleeved end to change the tilt of the horn. These horns were supplied with smaller Columbia phonographs such as the Q, Eagle, and AA. Thank you for watching this episode. 